नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल प्रशांत सर ऑफिशियल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी थैंक यू फॉर युअर गुड रिस्पॉन्स ह्यूज रिस्पॉन्स ऑन द वीडियो एरिया क्लासिफिकेशन और क्लीन रूम क्लासिफिकेशन बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज विजिट दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट सो दैट you can get clarity on area classification and different grades of the area that is grade a grade b grade c grade d and iso class 5 6 7 and 8 in today's video we are going to discuss on one of the very important topic that is differential pressure or pressure difference apart from this we are going to discuss on negative and positive pressures right so let us begin importance of differential pressure first we will discuss about the importance of differential pressure why differential pressure pressure is needed in the pharma industry differential pressure ensures clean room environment it prevents prevents cross contamination maintain product integrity more important regulatory compliance and it also prevent contamination from the surrounding environment or surrounding area now what is differential pressure or delta p the differential pressure usually implies the difference in pressure between two cubicles or difference in pressure between two adjacent room or difference in pressure between production area and surrounding area explanation of pressure difference between two points means differential pressure formula is delta p is equal to p1 minus p2 unit of measurement is pascals mm of mercury or mm of water gas now first we need to understand what is the difference between positive pressure and negative pressure here you can see cubicle a is positive cubicle b is positive however passage is double positive that means passage is at high pressure and cubicles are at low pressure that mean passage having positive pressure cubicles having negative pressure in comparison with the passage if another area which have triple positive pressure if this area will have the triple positive pressure in that case this area will be a positive pressure in comparison with the passage in simple words air flows from the positive pressure to the negative pressure now based on the air pressure or air flow air locks are differentiated in three uh, different areas or three different types that means air locks with different pressure cascade regime are classified into three parts that is cascade air lock sink air lock and bubble air lock let us understand what exactly it means here cascade air lock means higher pressure on one side of the air lock and lower pressure on other side for example here high pressure is there up and here low pressure is there and in between high pressure and low pressure there is a air lock in this cascade air will flow from cubicle through air lock to the another cubicle that means air will flow in single direction in case of sink air lock lower pressure inside the air lock and higher pressure will be on both outside areas in this case air lock becomes a sink that means air will flow from both side into the air lock bubble air lock higher pressure inside the air lock and lower pressure on both outer sides 
in this case air will flow from airlock to the outside areas so i think you have better idea about the cascade sink and bubble type of airlocks now here most important thing is to set the differential pressure in this figure you can see very well that area is designed in this way that designed condition is 30 pascal production corridor and 15 pascals all the area surrounding to the corridor that means 15 plus minus 3 will be the limit for the corridors and 30 plus minus 3 will be the limit for the production corridor now considering this design maximum differential pressure can be achieved is 21 pascal minimum differential pressure can be achieved is 9 pascal so how it will be calculated isko kaise calculate karna hai wo ab hum samajhte hain abhi jo hum log limit set karne ja rahe hain to in that case to get desired differential pressure we need to design the rooms accordingly अपने को डिजायर डिफरेंशियल प्रेशर अचीव करने के लिए रूम को उस तरह से डिजाइन करना बहुत जरूरी है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं रूम ए को 30 प्लस माइनस थ्री पास्कल से हिसाब से डिजाइन करूं तो रूम ए में मैक्सिमम प्रेशर आएगा 33 थ्री पास्कल मिनिमम प्रेशर आएगा 27 ट्वेंटी सेवन पास्कल दैट मीन्स थर्टी प्लस थ्री इज थर्टी थ्री एंड थर्टी माइनस थ्री इज ट्वेंटी सेवन सिमिलरली इन रूम बी इफ वी डिजाइन द रूम विथ फिफ्टीन पास्कल प्लस माइनस थ्री पास्कल इन दैट केस एटीन पास्कल विल बी द हायर लिमिट एंड ट्वेल्व पास्कल विल बी द लोअर लिमिट सो इफ फॉर रूम ए एंड रूम बी वी विश टू डिफाइन और सेट द डिफरेंशियल प्रेशर लिमिट एंड हियर यू कैन वेरी वेल सी दैट रूम ए इज ऑल्सो ग्रेट डी एंड रूम बी इज ऑल्सो ग्रेट डी For same grade and different cubicle, guidance value is difference pressure uh, differential or differential pressure should be not less than five pascals. Now we have to consider the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario will be scenario one: room A at its higher pressure and room B at its lower pressure. Another criteria, worst case criteria, will be room A at its lower pressure but room b it's at higher pressure so for these two rooms differential pressure will be defined on the basis of upper and lower limits of the particular room pressure here upper limit for this differential pressure will be 33 minus 12 that is zero number 1 33 minus 12 will be 21 that means our upper limit will be 21 pascals that means 2.1 mm of water column now lower limit considering scenario 2 that is room a at its lower pressure and room b at its higher pressure then lower limit will be 27 minus 18 that is 9 so limit will be 19 pascals to 21 pascals or 0.9 mm of water column to 2.1 mm of water column generally for grade d limit will be set as 0.6 to 1.8 mm of water column because magnetic gauges indicate difference of two that is numbers will be 2 4 6 8 likewise so we have to consider the limit in the similar manner that is instead of 5 pascals to 10 pascal or 5 pascal to 20 pascal we set limit as 0.6 to 1.8 or 6 pascal to 18 pascal now let us consider another scenario where room a is grade d however room b is grade c guidance value whenever there is change in the grade will be not less than 15 pascals differential pressure between grade room a and room b with a different grade should be not less than 15 pascals here we only need to pressurize one of the room or depressurize depressurize another room 
here we have pressurized room A uh, instead of 30 we have designed this room to achieve the 40 plus minus 3 pascals pressure so here scenario will become 43 at its highest and 12 room B at its lower accordingly likewise as per previous uh, slide we can calculate upper limit that is 43 minus 12 31 or lower limit that is 37 minus 18 19 in this case 19 pascals to 31 pascal will be our differential pressure limit which is well within the not less than 15 pascal of the limit based on your requirement and based on your expectation you can change the pressure to achieve the same uh, differential pressure that is here to achieve not less than 5 pascal room A we can design at 26 and 13 instead of 30 and 15 in this scenario also we are able to achieve 19 as a upper limit 7 as a lower limit that means 0.7 mm of water column to 1.9 mm of water column which is well within the limit of not less than 5 pascals friends I believe I am able to explain you how to set the differential pressure between the cubicles having same grade as well as differential pressure between the cubicles having different area classification or area grades. If you like this video, please suggest me for any corrections required. Please share with your friend. If you are new on this uh, channel, then please do subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that you can receive the notifications. Thank you friends. Jai Hind.